Hello, my name is Colin Riddington, and this is the third in the series of videos about ways of getting users' attention in Access. And today, we're going to be looking at text effects by flashing or scrolling text on the screen in order to alert your users. Now, the example database I'm using with this series of videos includes a whole series of different ways of getting users' attention. In the first video, we looked at different sorts of message box and trying to make these more effective in terms of grabbing your users' attention so that they actually focused on what you wanted them to look at. We did that by formatting message boxes, using task dialogues, customized message boxes, and the use of text-to-speech. The second video looked at form effects, in particular animation, transparency, fade and rounding, dimming and blurring, or removing the background. In today's video, will include flashing the scrolling text in the main part of the form or indeed in the title bar part of the form. The final video in the series will include what are called system tray alerts, sometimes called balloon tooltips and also a you have messages feature. Today we will look at text effects as I said. Let's open the example database. And we've already covered the first nine items on here. We're going to cover these four items today. Flashing messages, scrolling marquee text, scrolling the title bar caption, and flashing the title bar caption. Let's take these one at a time, but they have many similarities. They are all done on using timer events. So when I click this, you will see that a text message is flashing on and off at intervals about half a second for each. And after a set time, which I, in this case I've set at 10 seconds, it will disappear. Show that again, on, off, on, off, on, off, and so on. Let's see how that's done. Now the code for that event is very simple. It resets the display to make sure it's actually what I want it to be at the beginning. It then says what number button we're talking about, sets the time interval to half a second, and that's turning on the form timer event. Let's look at the code for that. So remember this is a number 10. So the form timer event then, we can miss out the bit at the beginning there, that's an earlier part from one of the previous videos here. Case 10. So as I said, the timer interval's 500 milliseconds or half a second. And so, what happens is this, the label that I showed you flashes so that if it is visible, it makes it not visible. And if it wasn't visible, it makes it visible. And then it increases the count, it increments the count by one each time. And once the count reaches 20, which is a total of 20 flashes or 10 seconds then it makes it false permanently and turns the timer interval off. A slightly more dramatic effect maybe can be produced by scrolling the same text on the screen. Now the text is moving from right to left or appears to be moving from right to left and what we're actually doing there again with the timer event here we are going to do the following. And when we click the button then the caption of the button changes. If it was scrolling marquee text, it becomes stop scrolling marquee text and clicking that would change what happens here. It then sets up the label that we've got here. The database will shortly be closing for essential maintenance. Please save your work and so on. And it sets the timer interval to a slightly faster interval this time of 0.1 seconds there. If the thing was already on stop scrolling marquee text it just stops the whole thing let's just do that let's start it again and now let's look at the timer event again and the timer event this time remember is every half second case number 11 so we first of all need to find out what the first character in that string is at the moment we set the, the marquee text to the assigned string that I said there about uh, your database is about to close for essential maintenance. You get the first character in the string. You remove it and then place it at the end of the message. Do that every 0.1 seconds so it appears to be a continuous movement and you will see then that the text gives the impression of moving across the screen. You can also do the same with the form title bar caption. At the moment it just says the name of the form and the name of the database. What I'm now going to do then is click this button here and I'm going to scroll the title bar caption across the screen in the same way as before. So we click on that, the button caption changes and you can see fairly small, possibly easy to miss here, 
the text is showing the same sort of effect as before. The only difference is the text is actually moving across, but the form, sorry, the database caption attention seek is staying the same. It's a little bit more jerky, but it works in exactly the same way as before. Let's look at the code for that. So again, if the caption is scroll title bar caption, it changes to stop that. It will then change the size, change the color, and set the message. And it sets the timer interval again to 0.1 seconds. If it's already been stopped, then it actually resets the display back to normal and resets the size of the button again. Click on that, bring it back to normal, and look at the form timer event again. And the form timer event is basically identical to what it was with the marquee text on the main part of the form. That was the marquee text on the main part of the form. Getting the first character, moving it to the end and so on. And it's exactly the same here, except we've allowed us some extra space for this to move into. Get the first character, remove it, shove it at the end, start again, and do that every 0.1 seconds. So again, it gives the impression of movement, but it's less, uh, less noticeable in the title bar caption. We could also flash that on and off in the same way as we did before. On, off, on, off and so on. This time I'm doing it a little bit more slowly, but again I'm actually setting this for a 10 second interval. Let's just stop that a second. Look at the code. If it says flashing, change it to stop flashing, make it larger, make it red, make it more obvious. Set the name of the text that you want to flash on and off and set the timer this time to one second. If you've already clicked stop it, then it returns it to the original settings and so on. Let's go to the form timer event once more. And case 13. Same as before then. We flash it so that the caption this time we've got a label this time, so it's slightly different. Okay, if the caption is the text that we set there, change it to nothing so that the text is apparently invisible. Otherwise, if it is invisible, change it to back to the original text. Add the count, carry on to, you get a count of 10 in this case, or 10 seconds, and then reset the timer interval to zero, which means you've stopped the timer. Exactly the same as before. So we've got four different methods that we can use here, and if we really wanted to, we could combine more than one of those. Coming back here then to the Attention Seeking Database PowerPoint, then we've covered these two items today. In the next video, we will show the last two items from the database here about system tray alerts and messages. If you want to get the example database on my website, go to https www.isledogs.co.uk attention hyphen seek and the example database can be found in there with exactly the same ISO that I'm showing here. Finally, thanks ever so much for watching. Hope you found some of that useful. If you did, please add a like and leave a comment. Suggest topics for future videos. Finally, please subscribe. You'll be notified whenever any new videos are uploaded. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.